Hey there, welcome. I got some new covers for my notebooks and I wanted to share with you my new leather goodies. I've been wanting to try uh, Chic Sparrow covers and Sojourner covers for a while, years now. Um, but they're kind of on the expensive side. But I w was able to finally try them and I'm super excited to share with you what I got. So let's start with the Chic Sparrow. I got two covers, a Nano and a Pocket. Um, as you can tell, I really t took a look at them and I'm super excited. I'm, like, I'm so happy I finally have my hands in one of these. So this is a pocket Darcy in the Austin leather. I think that's, I think that Darcy is the color and the leather is Austin. And oh my God, it does have a very strong chemical smell or yeah. Uh, it has a very strong smell. It's a very thick leather and I absolutely love how it looks. I mean, beautiful. I know nothing about leathers. <laughs> um, so this is mostly like, ooh, this feels nice. Um, yeah, very, a non-expert kind of uh, view on this. Here it has the logo, Chic Sparrow. And let me see, I got this for my um, Leuchtturm A6 and I saw in some reviews that it does fit in here. So maybe not so much, or oh, it could fit in the pocket, but what I've seen people do with this one because it's taller than a pocket notebook, slide it in one of these strings. And there it is. So height-wise, it does, uh, it's very flushed, but I like that. And it covers perfectly my Leuchter, which is what I want it for. It has three card slots. Beautiful. <clears throat> it's kind of stiff. I tend to prefer softer leathers. I mean, I don't, it's not like I have a ton of uh, leather covers. I think I have two. <laughs> one from the Superior Labor and one from, well, two from Rotterfanden, uh, which is a very different kind of cover. And of course, the Traveler's Company leather covers. Um, but yeah, I like how sturdy this feels, even though I tend to prefer softer leathers. I, lo I like how sturdy and strong and yeah, like you can throw this on any, in, in any purse, any backpack and you don't have to suffer uh, worrying about how it will, like, I mean, it can get scratches, but and it has this, which is kind of a little too out there. Let me try with one of these. Okay. It's nice, I like it. I'm very happy with this purchase actually. Um, so I think these are called straight, straight, striations, striations. Uh, the stitching matches the cover. And it has two more strings. So I could add kind of like a Moleskin Calle in here or a Field Notes and it is beautiful, love it. It's a little heavy but I like it overall, I'm very happy with this one. It has this little thing here which I'm not sure if it's glue. There. Is that glue or a scratch? Beautiful. So there's that one. Uh, they come with this, the product warranty, a little heart sticker, and they come with their own um, cotton like pouch. And these 
I like to save this kind of paper to decorate my journals. So you may see this inside one of my bullet journals sometime soon. So there's that. And this is a Nano, same leather, uh, Darcy in the Austin, Austin leather. And this looks, this looks so cute. I want to try this as my wallet. So I want to get a card holder to add in here and have this as my wallet. And it just, ah, oh, so, so cute. Like, mm, love it. I don't have a pocket size with me right now, but this is an A6. So you can see that it's a lot, a lot small, like very small. It is very small. Uh, about the size of my hand. And this, I think I can come up with some a very cute arrangement for this cover as my wallet. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's the two chic sparrows. And now the sojourner. Wait, does this one fit like a full, like a, an A6 notebook? I'm curious. Let's see. So this is a Hobonichi date three. Ah. Oh no, okay, that's too wide. So the Leuchtturm works because it is, what is this, like half an inch or an inch? Slimmer than uh, Hobonichi A6. That's why the Leuchtturm A6 works in here. It is, I mean, I don't do this all the time, but it uh, wiggles a little bit. Okay. So, oh my God, yeah. When I held this leather, when I touched it, uh, everything about this Sojourner is mm, pure joy. This is the Getty leather with the speck brown, pocket. This is the scoop pocket. And oh my yeah. god, this leather. This is so soft and flexible, malleable. Uh, oof, this feels so nice. Everything about this is, oh, feels so nice to touch. Man, love it. So this is a sample, this, I think this is the olive leather, kind of suede, very nice. I'm glad, I'm glad they sent this one because I've been wanting to get the sand or the olive and oh, nice. This is a postcard. This is the closure, the Sojourner logo. So beautiful, man. I actually gasped, gasped uh, when I first uh, unwrapped this. I was, oof. Yeah, this is pure joy to touch. And yeah, I, I'm, I tend to prefer softer leather that kind of fit like a glove. So this one is for my a uh, year in cartoons. That's how I'm using this A6 Hobonichi. And of course, it fits perfectly. Oof, yeah, like a glove, like it hugs the notebook. And there's a lot of space in here, so I could actually fit, I think, my Cavallini notebook, which I have been using for, as my current bullet journal. It's a little tight. Let's see. 
it does fit. Because this is a trifold, it has a lot of give in terms of bigger notebooks because it just wraps around it. Oh, so nice. So that's my Cavallini, which is a little bigger than a regular A6. As you can see here. Okay, a little taller, actually. But the regular A6 is a little, uh, like a smidge wider. And it has a thicker cover. And I think, according to videos I've seen, it could also fit the five-year journal. Yes, no, maybe. Or is that the traveler's? kind of notebook, like through a string. Well, it could, um, but yeah, it looks off. Maybe if this was a traveler's notebook, it could fit better because I could have this in one in a string, kind of like, I, like what I did in, with this one. And this one, is, the one I have is a folio because I want it specifically for my Hobonichi. Oh, oh, I love everything about this. The leather color is very close. If anything, this one has like a more red undertone and this was kind of more yellow undertone. But both of them, I'm so happy I was finally able to get one of these. Mm, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. So you're going to see, keep seeing uh, a lot more of these two in this channel. I hope this was useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.